Welcome back. Hey guys, it's Rishi once again, and today we're back with exchange rates. Sit down. What are exchange rates? Well, when going abroad, you need to change money to the currency of the country that you are visiting. And so it's important to know the exchange rate and amount of commission charged to get the best possible deal. So now, the currency for the United Kingdom is the British pound or pound sterling. So when we refer to foreign currency, we mean the money that a different country uses, such as rupees in India or dollars for America. And not all currencies have the same value. So we use exchange rates to convert from one currency to another. And exchange rates are published in newspapers and online where the pound is matched against various currencies. So in this particular video, I'll be going through a range of different questions where you will have to work out how many euros or how many pounds somebody would receive. And just like all of the other previous videos, feel free to pause, attempt the questions and then press play where I will then go through the solutions. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So question number one. Beth goes on holiday to Spain and the exchange rate is one pound to 1.13 euros. And she changes 350 pounds into euros. So work out how many euros she receives. Well, the first thing we're going to do here is simply write down our pound conversion to our euro conversion. And we know that one pound is equivalent to 1.13. But what Beth does is converts 350 pounds to euros. And we don't know that value yet, so let's give it an X. The second thing we're going to do is find out the value of X. And by doing that, we need to simply multiply the value by the exchange rate. So now we know that we will have one multiplied by X and 350 multiplied by 1.13. And that there will give us 395.50 euros. So what have we done? We've worked out the value of pounds and then the value in euros. And we've had to cross multiply in order to get our total answer. And remember, to convert from British pounds to a foreign currency, you multiply by the exchange rate. And our exchange rate was one pound to 1.13 euros. Okay, part B. So when Beth returns from holiday, she changes 120 euros back into pounds. But now the exchange rate has changed and we now have one pound giving us 1.16 euros. So we need to work out how many pounds Beth receives. So again, let's go ahead and write down our pound here. And let's go for one. And then let's go for our euro. And let's go for 1.16. So for every pound, we're getting 1.16 euros. But now we're changing back 120 euros. So again, we need to cross multiply to see what our answer is going to be. And we know this is going to be our x. So let's have 1.16 multiplied by x, which gives us 120. So we now need to make x the subject here. So we'll have x equals 120 divided by 1.16, which then would give us 103 pounds and 45 pence. So all in all, we know that 103 pounds and 45 pence is equivalent to 120 euros. Okay, let's go through the second question. And it's absolutely okay if you're still a little bit confused. The more practice we do, the better you will understand it. So now Ben's gone on holiday to Australia and he's changed 350 pounds into Australian dollars. And so the exchange rate was one pound to 2.1 dollars. So again, we can have a pound, and we can have our Australian dollars here. So let's go for one is equal to 2.1 here. And now work out how many Australian dollars 
Ben should have received. So the first thing is we don't know how much he's received, but we know he's converted 350 pounds. So what do we need to do? We need to simply multiply these two here. So we'll have x equals 350 pounds multiplied by 2.1, which gives us $735. And there we are. But then again, when Ben returns, he chooses to change $100 back into pounds. And so we have a new exchange rate for every pound. We are getting 2.2 Australian dollars. And we now know we have 100 Australian dollars and we need to change it over. So again, we can cross multiply this. So we'll have 2.2 times by our pounds will equal 100 Australian dollars. So let's now make X the subject here. So we'll have X equals 100 divided by 2.2, which then gives us 45 pounds and 45 pence. And again, a way to check if we are correct is again to see how our currency is based out. We know that one pound is less than 2.2 Australian dollars. Well, we know the figure of one pound is less than 2.2. Therefore, our pound figure should be less than our US or Australian dollars in this case. Beautiful. Okay, question number three. So again, Nicole is on holiday in France and she spends 14.5 euros in a cafe. And we know that our exchange rate is one pound to 1.15 euros. And now we need to calculate how much Nicole spends in pounds. So we know we have 14.5 euros. We need to find out how much she spends in pounds. So what are we going to do? So let's go ahead and write out 1.15 multiplied by X equals 14.5. We'll then make X the subject and write down 14.5 divided by 1.15, which then will give us 12 pound 61. So what does that mean? That means that Nicole will end up spending 12 pounds 61 pence when she spends 14.5 euros in a cafe. So remember the process that we are following here. It's cross multiplication where we are multiplying out our euro or one currency with the other. Okay, question number four. Amy is on holiday in Turkey and she changes 200 pounds to Turkish lira. So the exchange rate here is for every one pound, we get 7.7 .7 Turkish lira. So let's calculate how many Turkish lira Amy receives. So let's write down our pound to our Turkish lira is one to 7.7. .7. And because Amy is changing 200 pounds, we need to find out how much it will be in Turkish lira. So again, we cross multiply. So we say in order to get X, we need to multiply 7.7 .7 by 200, and that gives us 1,540. So in total, we'll have 1,540 pounds. And over to question five. Don't forget to pause the video at any time. Attempt the question and before we move on. So Mario is on holiday in Japan and he stays in a hotel for seven nights and the hotel costs 10,000 yen for each night. And so the exchange rate is for every pound, we get 140 yen. So now we have that out, let's write for pound and let's go for our yen. So we'll have for every pound, we'll have 140 yen. So we now know in total he's used 70,000 yen. So let's simply write down X as our value and 70,000 yen. Now we need to calculate how much Mario spends on the hotel in pounds. So what are we going to do? We're going to cross multiply here. In order to get the value of X, we're going to simply divide 70,000 by 140. So let's go for 140x equals 70,000 and then make x the subject, which will be 70,000 divided by 140, which then equals 500. So we now know that Mario spent 500 pounds. So let's go through this once more. We now know that for every one pound, 140 yen is being used. And we know that Mario spent 70,000 yen. 
So what we needed to do is simply multiply out 140 with x, which will then give us 70,000. We then made x a subject, divided 70,000 by 140, so we got 500 pounds. I hope that question was clear. Let's now move over to question number six. So Brian bought a hat in France and he paid 45 euros. And we know that the exchange rate is one pound to 1.12. And the same hat in England costs 39 pound 99 pence. And this is a very valid question here because I've seen a lot of people ask this. Is the hat cheaper in France or in England? So let's go ahead and write out our value here. So we know that we have 45 euros for a hat and we want to see how much it costs in UK. So we can do our cross multiplication. We'll have 45 pounds equals to 1.12 multiplied by X. We then need to make X the subject. So we take this multiplication over to get a divide. So we'll get 45 divided by 1.12 equals X. So we now know that X equals 40 pounds and 18 pence. And so that's the hat price in France. But we now know that it's cheaper in England because you're getting it for 39 pounds 99 pence, which, which is approximately 19 pence cheaper in England. So if you are in France, and you do get this hat, it's better off that you buy it in England. Let's save 19p. And let's write that out here. Marvellous. Okay, let's move on to question number seven. So a pair of trainers cost 3,400 rupees in India. And the same pair of trainers cost 68 pounds in the UK. So we now have pounds to our INR. So we have one pound, which is equal to 92 rupees. And we know that he spent 3,400 pounds. So we want to see how much it costs in the UK and what the difference is between the cost of trains in India and UK. So don't forget to cross multiply here. We now need to go ahead and calculate out the price that it would be in India. So we'll have our 3,400 rupees equal to 92 times by our X. We'll then make X the subject. So we'll have 3,400 divided by 92, which then gives us 36 pound and 96 pence. So now we've done that, we know that in UK it was 68 pounds. And if we subtract 36 pound and 96 pence, we get a difference of 31 pounds and four pence. And that is our answer. So we can now see that in the UK, this pair of trainers is 31 pounds and four pence more expensive than the pair of trainers in India. So again, I hope you can see how I've gone ahead and I've written out the main exchange rate, which is one pound to 92 rupees. And then, and then I've gone ahead and found out that we need to convert 3,400 rupees. And in order to do that, I need to divide this by the exchange rate, which is 92 rupees. And so by doing that, I can then find out that 3,400 rupees is equivalent to 36 pounds and 96 pence. Marvellous. Okay, question number eight. Carla is on holiday in Italy and she spends 35 euros in a restaurant. So we've got pounds to euros. We now know the exchange rate is for every one euro, it is 89 pence. So how much does Carla spend in pounds? Let's go ahead and write out that 35 euros and our X value, because that is what we are looking for. So now we've written that out. Let's find out how much it costs in pounds. So what we are going to do is we are going to get the value of one euro, which is 0 0.89 and multiply this by 35. So we know X will equal 35 times by 0 0.89, and that then gives us 31 pounds and 15 pence. 
Marvellous. And that's how much Carlo spends in pounds. So see it as this. If one euro equals 0 0.89, then how much will 35 euros cost? So if we're multiplying this side by 35, we then need to multiply this side by 35. And therefore, we get 31 pound and 15 pence. And that may be another way that you could use in order to find your answer. Beautiful. Okay, question number nine. The exchange rate in London is one pound to 1.31 US dollars. So we get US dollars to pounds. So for every dollar, we're getting 0 0.79 pence. And Bernie wants to change some pounds into dollars. So in which of these cities would Bernie get the most dollars? Well, we know we're looking for dollars, so we'll put X underneath there. And we know that that will give us one pound. So now in order to find out how much one pound would be in dollars, we'd simply have one equal to 0 0.79 multiplied by X. Remember your cross multiplication here. We then make X the subject, which would be one over 0 0.79. And we then know 1.27. So in New York, one pound is equal to 1.27 dollars. So Bernie would get the most dollars in London. Okay, beautiful. Let's go over to question number 10. We are almost done, so keep up the great work. So George is going on a trip to Vietnam and he wants to change 750 pounds into Vietnamese dong. And George wants to get as many 200,000 pound dong notes as possible. And so the exchange rate that we have is for every pound, we get 29,000 dong. So work out the greatest number of 200,000 dong notes that George can get for 750 pounds. So we know 750 pounds and we need to get the value of X. So again, what do we need to do? We need to multiply these out. So let's go ahead and write out X equals 29,000 multiplied by 750. So we know that is 21 million 750,000. So with that figure, we can then divide it by our 200,000 dong notes, and that would then give us 108.75. But we cannot use a decimal here, so we now know the greatest number of notes that George can get of 200,000 is going to be 108. And there we are. Okay, question 11. In Australia, a car costs 26,500 Australian dollars. And in Ireland, the same car costs 17,500 euros. So the exchange rates have been given to us where we can have our pounds to our Australian dollars. We can see it's for every pound, we have 1.96 Australian dollars. And we need to find the difference in between the car in Australia and in Ireland. And we know it costs 26,500 in Australia. So how much will it cost in pounds? Well, we have our cross multiplication here. So 1.96 multiplied by X should give us 26,500. So let's make X the subject here and let's divide that. And that now gives us 13,520 pounds and 41 pence. But we're now going to do the same exact thing. But this time we're gonna do it with the euros. And we know that for every pound, we're getting 1.14 euros. We then are looking for the answer in pounds. So we're going for our X value here. And we know that in Ireland, the same car costs 17,500. So we cross multiply here. So we know 1.14 X will equal 17,500. We then make X the subject, which is 17,500 divided by 1.14. And that gives us 15,350 pounds and 88 pence. So if we look for our difference between these two figures here, we know the difference lies at 1,830 pounds and 47 pence. And that was calculated by subtracting the smaller number from the largest. And there we are, beautiful. Okay, question number 12. In London, Potatoes cost 
45 pence per pound. And Dublin potatoes costs 1.48 euros per kg. So in which city are potatoes better value for money? London or Dublin? So the first thing I'm going to do is write up my euros, which is 1.48, to my pounds, which is going to be 2.2. So for every 1.48 euros, we're getting one kg in Dublin. So again, we need to find that out in euros. So let's go ahead and cross multiply. So we know 2.2 X will be equal to 1.48. We make X the subject. So 1.48 divided by 2.2 will then give us 0 0.672 recurring. So that means it will cost us 0 0.672 euros per pound. But now let's do the same thing for our pounds. So we know the exchange unit, the exchange rate is 1.15 for every pound. We then need to find this in euros, which we've done is 0 0.672 recurring. And now let's make X the subject once we've written out our cross multiplication here. So now you have X equals 0 0.672 divided by 1.15. And that there gives us 58 pence. So what does that mean? That means that 58 pence will be the cost per pound in Dublin. So which one is best value? Well, we can see here that London is the better value. And that is mainly because it costs us 58 pence versus 67.2 euros. Okay, marvelous. We've got two questions left now, guys. Keep up the great work if you've come this far. So the exchange rate in London is one pound to every 1.15 euros. And the exchange rate in Berlin is one euro to 88 pence. So Angela wants to change some pounds into euros. So in which of these cities would Angela get the most euros? So let's start off with Berlin. For every one euro, we need to find out how much money we get. So for every one euro, we get 88 pence. So again, in order to work this out in euros, we're going to have 0 0.88x equals one. We'll then make x our subject. So we'll have one divided by 0 0.88, which then gives us 1.14. So now for every 88 pence used, we get 1.14 euros. So for every one pound used, we would get 1.14 euros. So again, as you can see, that she would get the most euros in London. And that's by just one amount there. And that's by one penny there, because in London, the rate is one pound to 1.15 euros. However, in Berlin, it's one pound to 1.14 euros. Marvelous. Okay, over to the final question. So Frank is traveling from the USA to Germany. And Frank wants to book flights which cost $710 and a hotel which costs 45 euros per night for 12 nights. We've got our exchange rates and now Frank can spend no more than a thousand pounds. So let's work out if he's able to book the flights and hotel. So let's go for our dollars and let's go for our euros. And again, as we can see for every one dollar, this costs 0 0.85 euros. We then know that the flights cost $710 here. So let's place this as our X and let's cross multiply. So we're going to have our 710 US dollars multiplied by 0 0.85, which gives us X. And by doing so, we know that 603.5 euros. And we also know that it's 45 euros per night for 12 nights. So let's have 45 euros multiplied by 12, which then gives us 540 euros. And that's just for our hotel. We then need to go ahead and add that on to our 603.5 euros. 
and that gives us 1,143.5 euros. So now we know the cost in euros, we're then going to go ahead and convert this to pounds. So again, for every pound, we have 1.14 euros, and we need to get the value in pounds here. So let's go ahead and convert 1,143.5 euros into pounds. So again, in order to do that, we will have X equals 1143.5 divided by 1.14, which is our exchange rate. And that there gives us 1,003 pounds and seven pence. So overall, we can see that Frank does not have more. So Frank cannot book the flights and the hotel because this is three pounds and seven pence over. So the answer is no. Beautiful. Okay, we have come so far and I hope you can see the value in these videos. You've done amazingly well today going through a set of 14 questions, going through the topic of exchange rates. This was not an easy topic. And I hope you feel a bit more comfortable going through currencies and understanding how not all currencies have the same value. And this is a life skill to understand how to work with currencies and work with numbers. So please do remember that solving real problems with exchange rates may involve multiple steps like I've just shown you here. So make sure that you write down each sum so that you can follow the calculation through to the end. I hope this video is useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more useful content. Keep up the great work and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.